What up guys, it's David Clipperhands. We're back with another tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests on how to do a mullet. I'll be going more in depth with this video. This is what your mullet should look like. I'll be showing you step by step on the left side. If you wanna know how to tell your barber for this specific hairstyle, or want to know how he gets his curls and what products he uses, stick around towards the end of the video for all that information. To start off the haircut, we're going to create our guideline. With mullets, it's usually a high taper, so we're getting rid of his edges. We'll be using our one guard with the lever fully open to create a one inch guideline. Since we're not keeping the edges, we'll be doing a high taper. With any type of mullet, I always recommend a high taper if you want it to stand out. Now that we have our one inch guideline, we'll be getting rid of all the bulk, carefully using clipper over comb. I just want to say how thankful I am for all of you guys. We made it to 3k subscribers and I really appreciate all the love and support. I got my lever fully closed and we'll be getting rid of the baseline we created in the beginning, going up half an inch and you want to gradually open up your lever as we keep going up on the guideline. With the lever fully open, continue to go up half an inch. Don't be scared to go up guys. Since we are doing a high taper, you want to blend the lines out. Now using our half guard with the lever fully closed, keep going up half an inch. Don't forget to use the corner of your blade to soften up any harsh lines that there might be. You want to gradually open your lever to give you a more detailed taper on the sides until the lever is fully open, but remember to still go up half an inch. For our last step using guards, I have my one guard with the lever fully closed. We're still going up half an inch, but we're getting rid of the last line that we created. Any weight that's still left over, I take it out by using clipper over comb. This is my favorite technique. It helps cut your time in half. It also gives you a more detailed finish. Using our shaver, remove the stubble for a cleaner finish. After using your shaver, follow up by using your trimmer to flick out the remaining line out. Keep a comb in hand to help move the hair to the side for a more detailed edge up around his ears. We'll be doing some sheer work Wet the hair enough to have it damp. I took off an inch off the top of his hair on the right side. Since I created my guideline, all I have to do is follow it to know how much to take off the top. To start off the lineup, I removed the excess weight on his bangs using clipper over comb to give me a straighter lineup. Starting in the middle, I work my way to the left side.
finish off his lineup, use a razor to give it a crispier finish. I add Curl Boosting Mousse from Herbal Essence to activate his curls for a more defined look. It smells good and holds the curls in place with a natural look. Don't forget to shake the bottle and spread evenly throughout the hair. I'll be putting the links of the products in the description for this look. There you guys have it, the mullet tutorial. If you want to know how to ask your barber for this specific hairstyle, all you have to do is ask for a high taper on the sides without the edges and keep the top an inch long. Here are some pictures of the mullet when he first started growing it out. It took four months to get it the length in the second picture, about eight months in the third picture, and over a year and two months for the length he currently has. All right, I get a lot of questions asked. What do you put in your hair for your mullet? What do you use, man? Live leaving conditioner and Cantu. Where could you buy those stuff at? Walmart. What's uh, it called again? Cantu. Cantu, and what else? And leaving conditioner. Leaving conditioner, all right, all right. Here's a sneak peek on the next video I'll be dropping. It's an Edgar mid-taper.